Arsenal, that's where we uh, will be watching right away. We just got to confirm who is playing with the blue and who's playing with the red and white. So the kickoff, and here we go, here we go with the main event of the quarterfinals. We have to pay attention to the other three games playing simultaneously. Itorito, number 13 in the world ranking with the Arsenal in blue. Enriquinho, the Brazilian, doing a terrific job lately, this young kid. Uh, which play for uh, Group A, and uh, this was the first approach. Some risks for uh, Etorito coming close. Here he comes again. Again, Enriquinho, the champion from the CBF. They're moving the ball into the back. Enriquinho playing with blue. And with red and white, it's Etorito. Torito went to the qualifier in Asia. There's a ball up front trying uh, Enriquinho to approach to the box. It's a good defense from Torito. Arsenal against Arsenal. We've seen this before. Enriquinho trying to put the ball into the box again. Here comes the blue team with Ed. Henry Quino again, there's a good chance. That's a goal! Yes, I don't know if he was offside. No, 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 it doesn't count. That's an offside. Yes, he was uh, in front, that was an offside. So let's see the answer from Ettorito. Ettore Gianuzzi, the Italian player facing the Brazilian Enriquinho. Again, Enriquinho moving the ball from side to side, but with mispass, misplay pass actually. Now Etorito is a counter-attack. He has a couple of partners there. Bad pass behind. Now front for Etorito. Again, good chance here with Welbeck. There's a header. Yes! Yes! That's a goal for Etorito. 1-0 with his red and white arsenal. 1-0 over Henry Quino. Etorito taking the lead now. He did it with patience. He did move the ball really well. And as a, with the counter attack, he staking the lead. As we hear that there is another goal. Let's see what's next now. I'm making some movements here. Henry Quino trying to fix some things here on his blue Arsenal side. It was too quick in the adjustments he just did with the long ball now. It's a big ball into the other side against Etorito. With the heel, with the heel touch. Here comes Henry Quino with the next approach. It looks like a foul there. Again, Henry Quino coming from the left side. The Brazilian is mad now. He's trying to get an answer. That's a left shot and hit the post. I think he hit the post. I think the ball hit the post. He hits the bar. Oh no, it was the goalie who touched the ball. So we have a corner kick right away. Henry Quino making some moves again. He's switching. Cosione, what he did there in a few seconds. Making a move, he knows what he's doing. 
with the free kick, with this corner kick in zone defense. It's uh, Etorito, good chance here against Henry Quino trying to tie this thing up. He's not being able to finish the play. Finishing the sequence could be a good approach to gaining confidence. Henry Quino back again, putting the ball in the middle. The ball into the area. Oh, almost, no, almost an own goal. You can distract a little bit. It was a Torito having some miscommunication back there. And now, with some pressure, Henry Quino with a good shot. It's a header. He went far. So we have a goal kick now. Here comes Henry Quino. Again, Henry Quino trying to put the ball in the box. 36 minutes. The Brazilian has woken up after the goal from the Italian Etorito. One of the favorites today alongside Alex Alawasil and alongside Tio Meet, the top players. Or the top seeded players for this America's round. We already know the champions, Neo Sports, the co op champions representing France, playing with the Korean side, Jeju United. If you missed it, just in case, we've been over 10 hours of broadcasting here in different languages. So you can miss any detail you. There's no way you're missing any detail. <clears throat> now Etorito looking again for uh, another approach, trying to reach the area, trying to create something here. Now we have 45 minutes of the first half. Again with the touch, again Etorito putting some pressure, four players in the area. Always with the cross. That's the end of the first half. We go to halftime. one nothing. A Torito ahead. Look at the concentration they have. And Riquinho with that hat he usually uh, has. And that's a goal. Yes. Yes. Good reaction by Henry Senior right away at the start of the second half. That's a goal, the ball at the back of the net with Alexandre, like I said, early goal in the second half for Henry Quino. And here's the Brazilian representative, the CPF champ, with the equalizer against Ed Torito, who didn't have an answer here. Oh, I know we have a lot to see, but this is like an anticipated final between Two big, big, big teams. That's a great goal with that mid-range shot. So look at the concentration, they don't even move. A lot of nevertheless good cross that's ahead. The ball hit the post twice. So Entorito had a couple of really good chances here, always with crossing balls or crossed balls. And Henry Quino gets mad every time Etorito advances. Good challenge back there. Now finding some space in here. Here they go again. A lot of yelling in the other stations in the gaming area. We'll be following those results right away. Henry Quino hiding the ball to Etorito. Ball in vertical into the right side. And 
If we stay like this, we'll go to extra time, as you guys know. They're one on one. They're just a break away from another goal. Here comes Enriquinho. Enriquinho breaking. Almost there. Almost there. Very close to the right post. Terrific combination in the center, entering the area. There's Henry Quino making some changes here too. Both players. Now Henry Quino deserving to get the advantage, to take the advantage. Again, Henry Quino with the ball, with the possession. Once again. Trying to create an opening here with the ball movement. Here's the cross. Repelling everything there, Etorito. Good answers on defense. There's Henry Quino again with the touch to the outside with the second half. Looking for the first semi-finalist, the ball into the area. The touch by uh, Danny Welbeck. Good tackle there by Yatorito, really good defender. That's uh, a main thing for the favorites here. I like Alex Alvacil, good defender too. Not having his best day though. Yatorito, now Henry Kinyo with good interception, the ball into the area until Peter Cech, managed by Yatorito, handles the ball. We're 20 virtual minutes away from Regulation. Good pass into the middle. Here's Torito. The ball hits the bar again. That's the third time the Italian has hit the bar. Very impressive what he's done during the game. He deserved to be up there. But we know. Oh, what a great play by Torito. Good ball skill. Here comes the advantage. Good touch into the middle, he just couldn't reach it. It was too far, too long, too long. The pass was a little bit, a little bit there, so he couldn't make it. Oh. So now Torito is putting pressure on Henry Kenya, who not being able to take the ball he loses too fast he loses possession but too fast let's see if Henry Quino with the counter attack can do something here looks like Etoritos is standing really good with his players on his own half here's the touch up front here comes a big chance for Henry Quino oh, go stop by Peter Cech, great stop, great save. Proof challenger, no doubt about it. And Peter Cech putting that ball into the corner. Look at the uh, importance of the goalkeeper from the Czech Republic. The ball in front of the box, now inside of it. The clearance into the middle. Now Henry Quino leaving so much space. There. Ooh, that's a tough tackle. He's got to see the yellow card. He probably had to switch the guy now. Michael Niles, the one doing the switch is uh, Etorito. Bringing in Jack Wilshere for Michael Niles. Some midfield refresh. Torito has shown a good second half, but not being able to score three times, hitting the bar twice in the same sequence. And the last one over, Peter Cech. Torito again, let's see. 
And with the ball into the area, look at this chance! That's a goal! Yes! Yes! That's a goal for Ed Torito! Standing up there, the favorite European, one of the fan favorites. Ettore Giannuzzi with the second goal for Arsenal in red and white. Ettorito finding his way into the semi-finals. A lot of people rooting for him. So... The emotions in the playing level has raised. And now Torito has the momentum here in the quarterfinals. This is the main event. We have to see what's going on in the other three games to see the other three going to the semifinals. In this game is Torito now. Henry Quino needs to make some moves, put some players in offense like in Kitariari, Wobby, Welbeck, Nelson. And he's bringing in Lauren Kosiami up there. So he's bringing a defender to do as a number nine, as a center forward. And he's going to play with three in the back. This is going to be a strong one. This is going to be tough for Henry Quino. Those are the adjustments. If you're a gamer, of course, you understand what they're doing. It's so fast. You have to see what's going on with Alex Alguacil and As Babies from Spain and from France. Tiomit from France and Sigole from Peru. Felipe Mestre against Emelian the King. Really good uh, uh, bracket really uh, strong players, strong gamers, always loyal to the Pro Evolution Soccer mode. And the individual here comes a chance for Henry Quino. Oh, yes, 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 goal! That's a goal for Henry Quino, and what a way to celebrate! He stood up right there very strong he didn't get nervous and he finished it up right to the back of the net what an answer by Lauren Koscielny he just made that move he just put Lauren Koscielny as number nine center forward and what a way to tie it up the game at the end of it and now Etorito is making his move he wants to avoid the extra time. We gotta give some credit to Henry Quino because of what he did put in a defender as an attacker. And now he moved him back. Now that he tied the game, it's all strategy here. But they're really fast doing it. They're really quick doing the moves. Etorito is really clear, although he felt uh, bad when he conceded there because he could close the game and now it looks like they're going to extra time so we're back with the action now and that's the end we're going to extra time are they going to do something Maybe a substitution here. This is some game that we're watching here in the quarterfinal. Here's Etorito putting some pressure. Nice tackle, nice challenge there from Henry Quino. Playing with Iwobi, followed by Bellerin. Looked like that ball went away. He needs to move the ball to the other side. Henry Quino. With the move, he lost it to Henry Kim Kita. Nice pass with the outer side of his feet. And here comes a Torito with a good chance. He has some angle. Here comes again. Nice tackle. The cross right there from Bellerin. Just closing out that window that he just had. 
against Ed Torito. Coming up from the center, a good chance here for Ed Torito, the Italian not being able to finish it up. Here's Henry Quino pushing the ball. Now it's Michael Niles appearing on the left side. Andrew Quino, look at Henry Quino! What a goal! Yes! 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 That's a goal! The ball in the back of the net! What a goal by Henry Quino! Oh, no doubt, one of the best goals from today's tournament. No way! What he did with that Vaseline all over the goalie! Oh my God, I thought we already seen everything today. No way, Henry Quino is saying I'm staying here, the CBF champion. Beating a Torito, one of the favorites, the guy from Italy. I want to see his face right away because he needs to answer. He still has time and now he's going to make his move. We're over the 100th minute as El Torito, El Torito trying to respond right away. What a demonstration of uh, character. What a way to come back in the game for Henry Quino. He was out and he scored in the last action of uh, regulation. And all of a sudden he scored here in the extra time. Really nice comeback from the Brazilian player. Really young players, Galvin Pest to the new generation of Pest League from Brazil. After what we saw from Guy Fer, ooh, almost under pressure there. And that's the end of the first half here in extra time. Etorito looks down, he looks frustrated. He needs to answer. He was very uh, energetic a few minutes ago or a couple of hours ago, actually. And now he's really worried about facing a tough challenger as Henry Quino has done a terrific job against one of the favorite players. We're getting the ball back here. We have a few minutes in virtual time away from the end. Henry Quino Trying to close this out. Good clearance. And here comes Arsenal. Etorito has a chance to bring this to the penalty shootout. Again with the cross. Better defensive skills by Henry Quino. And there was a foul there. Not called by the referee. A few minutes away. That's a foul. That's probably a yellow card too. Yellow card for uh, Cosioni. They're not making any switches there. They're putting some pressure, trying to recover that ball. Henry Quino trying to hide the ball from Etorito. Here's some Kitarian with the touch. Iwobi getting into the area, looking for the insurance goal. Iwobi hiding there at the corner kick. There's almost time time running out for Etorito Henry Quino is about to get the win it's going to be the first semi-finalist one of the first semi-finalists there which has, that's the end Henry Quino advances to the semi-finals he has just disqualified